Racketeering is extortion with a threat of violence? I don't buy it. Racketeering. Dishonest and fraudulent business dealings. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. You got the word fraudulent in the description of the crime, but fraud is another crime. It's, it, it's like using a word to define itself. R. Kelly was also sentenced on racketeering. One of the most common forms is the protection racket in which a criminal entity causes a problem and sells protection against that problem. Oh, you mean like um, Equifax? Hey, um, give us all your personal information so we can make sure no one's stolen your identity. Oh, sorry, we got hacked and lost all your personal information. Here's your $17 class action lawsuit. He was originally charged with morbing. Uh, it, it still makes me laugh. I wish it didn't, because it's such like a, a banal joke. But it still makes me laugh. One day it won't, and I'll be embarrassed for all the laughter that I gave to, to such a mediocre meme. But for now, I mean, that day is not today. I forgot how to locomote in Fall Guys. Kate, are you seeing this? Like, your husband is not right. I can't make it through the damn door in, in round one of Fall Guys. What is, like, this, it seems impossible. This maze of, of... hot dogs here. Ooh, we still made it. We still made it. Holy cow. They weren't hot dogs, okay? They were corn dogs. Korean style corn dogs. Honestly, you, you somebody somebody asked for my most insane food take today. I like corn dogs, but they might be the most overrated food of all time. They always look and smell so much better than they taste. And also, I feel like they always use the shittiest hot dogs of all time. Anytime I see or smell a, a corn dog, I'm like, this shit looks amazing. I want one immediately. Then when I bite into it, and the first bite is like just bread, and then the second bite is like a 99 cent uh, hot dog from No Frills, I'm like, what have I done? What have I done to myself? I'm worth more than this. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I, I honestly, I find it a little easier to play from the rear in many ways. All you gotta do is sneak right through there. Told you, told you. If you guys could stop getting in my way, that would be ideal. We're in. Pogos are the worst also. Dude, we gotta like talk about Canadian like arena culture. We're literally letting local arenas get away with buying frozen corn dogs called pogos in Canada at the grocery store and then selling them for like four bucks, five bucks a pop at the arena. All they're doing is heating them up in the damn oven. And the bread is like, cause it's baked instead of fried. The bread is not even like crispy. It's just, it's gummy. Anyway. Derp, 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 derp. I've had some okay corn dogs. I've had some, I've, I mean, there's some decent uh, Korean corn dog places in Vancouver for sure. I think it's just the food that is like, it's more Instagrammable than it is edible. Opinion on ketchup chips? I 
So I don't even like ketchup that much. By the way, bet war chest right now. Bet 100% on belief. I am, I'm not losing this three times in a row. Um, I promise you that right now. I'm squeezing. I'm squeezing. Uh, I don't really like ketchup that much, but I think ketchup chips are actually like a, a top tier Canadian potato chip flavor. Oh my god. Oh my god. I keep getting pushed to the damn outside. I'm, I'm fucked. I'm already fucked. I, no, 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 we can make it. Don't war chest. Can you cancel that war chest real quick? I, um... I, I mean, I prefer all dressed. I prefer a jalapeno chip, don't get me wrong. But uh, I if somebody said like, hey, we got some ketchup chips, I would be like, hell yeah, brother, give me a handful. We gotta go left side. That's perfect timing. Beautiful, not even touching the damn walls. That's fine, scrape me. <laughs> Why? Bro, aim for the damn center! Okay, that was much better. Like, a ketchup chip is pretty similar to an all-dressed. It's, it's an inferior facsimile, but it certainly uh, is still tasty. Holy cow, that was incredible. It's not just the best we've ever done it. I think it's the best that's ever been done. <laughs> Saved. Ketchup chips are actually ass. They don't taste like ketchup. They're just red salt. With a little bit of like sweetness in it. It's good, man. We got some Miss Vicky's jalapeno chips. You want some? Yeah, I'd take like a couple. I mean, how how big is the bag? If you got a family size bag, I'll take a, a handful. If you got a like a subway size bag, I'll just take one, and I won't even take like the big, you know, like the oyster mushroom one. I'll just take like a like a little one. I don't want to overstay my welcome. So brave, so brave. I hate tail tag, by the way. Nice try. Dude, honestly, I could do this for 80 seconds. You stole my tail? Okay, well. I'm gonna need somebody to cover the rear so that I can actually grab this tail, please. Motherfucker. Dude, I got like genuine boomer reflexes right now. You've escaped. Come on, somebody is in here. They're, who up and wants the tail eight? Let's go! Get me the hell out of here. Do you still play chess? I literally, the first time I played chess in like 18 months was literally 24 hours ago. What a, what an insane question. Please, please. They want to know if you're still playing? Well, like, the only thing you could possibly mean is, am I literally playing as we speak? In which case the answer is no. Would I consider myself a, a, an active player? For tournament-based purposes? Yes. I mean, like, if you're looking to hire somebody to go to the World Championship, yeah. Okay, I'm still active. So lucky, so lucky, insanely lucky. Yeah, whatever. Just like it's insanely lucky that uh, Tampa Bay won two Stanley Cups in a row. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. Okay, Thin Ice, also known as Worst Hexagon.
one of those cups was a COVID year, which was a joke year. Um, what do you mean it's a joke year? How does that make sense? Are you a Las Vegas Golden Knights fan? Doesn't seem like a joke here to me. I mean, that's like the thing about a tournament, right? Anyone can win in a tournament. And anyone can come second in a tournament, even the Montreal Canadiens. Denver, Colorado is the hockey capital of North America. Excuse me, I think you're forgetting about Minneapolis, St. Paul. I guess we're running. I guess we're running because we can't be civil anymore. I, my finals due soon. Can I copy your homework? Sure, just don't make it um, worse. I'm alive. No! Oh. oh, that was good though. That was good. Among Us. Dude, I, screw you guys. I'm proud of that one. That was a good performance. You should have just stayed on the other one. Yeah, no shit now that we know how it goes. Dummy. Hey, next time you buy a lottery ticket, why don't you just pick the winning numbers? Duh. Dude, I'm telling you, North America East is the way to go. Why are you so mad? Don't even start with me. I'm mad because of this baseless criticism 24-7. You would be mad too. I see the way that people type in uh, on Twitter. Oh my God, you guys wouldn't believe what happened to me today. Uh, one of 75. I was at the grocery store when, and then somebody, and then they said, are you sure? And then, and I said, and I said, can we stop? And with the seven of 75, did, 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 like every, every, bit of friction you face in real life becomes a an essay oh like you're doing right now can you scan all the chocolate bars individually to avoid electrical inveterance then they type in chat like why are you stupid and i say <clears throat> calmly i'm not stupid i have an undergraduate degree and then people go why are you so mad I'm mad because I'm, I'm getting tomatoes thrown at me every single day for being the, the best opera performer in the three tenors. But I guess it's true what they say. Legends are only appreciated after they're gone. Like retired, not like dead. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, we can still make it. Don't you also get a bunch of plus twos? Well, yeah, but like... I mean, like, all the criticisms are like essays that are designed to, like, hurt me on a spiritual level. And then all the compliments are just like, plus two. Plus two. Every criticism is like, do you think it's because you were an only child and didn't face, uh... Any kind of strife growing up that you're quick to anger when your preconceived notion that your mommy special boy is challenged? Do you, th you think it's possible that that's happening? And then when I say something uh, very droll, people just say plus two. They don't say, wow, what an incredible joke. It's the best joke I've ever heard. Plus two, you are my hero. Thanks, that helps. I appreciate that. You said droll two times this stream? You should watch another streamer. I'll see you in five minutes. If that's your standard, you're on the wrong damn website. 
You know what website you need to go to if you're sick of seeing the same words over and over? It's called wordle.com. NewYorkTimes.com slash Wordle, free to play. Every day there's a new word there. And then you should definitely post your results on social media. I'm sure thousands of people would be thrilled to see um, how you're doing. Also, what is this? What is this nightmare? I need to stay inside of the yellow zone. Okay, mission not accomplished. Mission not accomplished again, okay. One person is qualified already. That's the ticket, man. That's the ticket. Holy cow. That was better. That was a lot better. I don't know if we're making it, but I'm gonna try. Holy cow. I'm insane. For the first time ever doing that one, I'm pretty impressed with myself. <laughs> Holy cow. That was scary, dude. Hold on, I'm pouring some water into my cup. Plus two, you're so smart and funny. Hardest working content creator in the game, bar none. Well, that's just false, but I do appreciate it. It's a comforting lie. Thank you, thank you. Maybe there was a time, but, it, you know, briefly. Did anyone say that? Dozens of people. I actually filtered out. I only read the compliments that were honest. A lot of them like were so exaggerated as to be almost a little bit patronizing. Plus two, you look very nice today. Thank you. I've, I've shedded a lot of water weight over the past two weeks. Appreciate it. I said shedded, shedded. Okay, put me in the pipe. This one's not that bad, man. We can make this one. They're, they're so focused on talking about the pipes. Aw, oh, shit. This one's not that pipe driven. It's way more of just like an obstacle course. I think we honestly did pretty well there. I, I think a lot of people will get bounced once. No sweat. No sweat. That was beautiful. Split the damn defense. Beautiful. Dude, we made up a lot of positions. Okay, you don't need to dive onto that one right away. Just, just use your damn brain. You know it's coming back. Peg, it will come back to you. Perfect physics grab the trapeze make it in you know how to do it let's go okay i knew it i knew it top 10 bald streamers you know what's crazy it's only gonna get like harder to make that list because as time goes on more and more streamers will become bald and as a result, it's going to be like crowded competition. What's crazy is that like you probably look at other streamers and you go like, NL's bald, this streamer's not bald. And I go, no, NL's bald. This streamer is not bald yet. They're probably okay for the rest of the 2020s, but the 2030s? I don't know. I'd be thinking by 2032, 2033. Rude. It's rude for a bald person to call someone else bald. 
Maybe you just, uh, maybe too much of your sense of self is wrapped up in your own hair. It's just like dead follicles on the top of your head. They're not gonna sleep with you. Well, I mean, I guess literally they do every night, but you know, like on your pillow or whatever. Okay, I'm out. No, I'm not out. I'm okay, I'm out. How many of these fuckers do you need? Fifteen. That's so gettable. Especially when all the good players are gone. Which they will be soon. This is dude, it's untapped real estate. It's a completely untapped market. That's unbelievable. The bounty that we just had available to us over there, I don't even know what to say. It, it was fertile land. It was... <laughs> oh my god. That was like being the first corn farmer in Nebraska, man. That was like... What do I do with all this corn? Holy cow. Me in the 17th century be like, so true. So true. What a knowledgeable joke about Nebraska. You didn't have to say that, thank you. What an incredible joke, it's the best joke I've ever heard. Stick around, we got more where that came from. Blast ball. Okay. Careful. Halfway through the game, it starts going faster. Should I tip my waitress? I mean, it depends where you live. We can do that if you want. We got an hour and a half left of stream. We can, we can do the thing where we argue about tipping. And then we all end up agreeing that it's basically stupid and servers should all actually be paid like a living wage without requiring the customers to directly subsidize it. While at the same time recognizing that that's not the system that we actually exist in right now. And as a result, if you don't tip, you're really just impotently making a, a stand that doesn't actually improve anything. It just saves you a little bit of money and... Uh, at the expense of the person who served you your food that day. I'm stupid. I'm alive. Dude, I'm getting a kill right here. Watch him. Watch him. Whoa! I knew it, dude! Planned. Planned. Oh, okay. A little scared? No, no, not scared. That was not a, a smart attack on my part. Two, only two gamers are dead? That was just, I mean, I, why, why? Why, they're a, they're a genius? Still, okay, take me out. I got one more in me. If you just hold it, you're okay? Or did, did they kamikaze me? Lose in the finals, that's fine. I will say though, tipping, the thing that, about tipping that's weird to me is the idea that, and I know that this depends on the place that you work, but the idea that the person who carries your plate of food from the kitchen to your table deserves 15%, 20% extra on top of the bill but the person who cooked it in the back just gets paid what they get paid. Because like, I feel like, I'm not saying one's harder than the other. I'm more just saying like, I mean, like, I feel like they're, they're both important. And if anything, I feel like, I mean, if you just gave me like a little device that was like, your food's ready, come to the kitchen. I would go back to the kitchen and be like, hey, that's my food, thank you so much. I would bring it to the table myself. But I'm not gonna be making my own French onion soup back there. I mean, it takes hours just to caramelize the onions in the first place.
I think it's good when restaurants give a cut to back of house as well. It's not to say like servers don't have to deal with problems. The, but what I will say though, may, maybe servers would disagree with me. My take as a diner, which is like any askers in chat, probably not, is that like 90% of customer service problems at a restaurant are caused by like the same, like 5% of people. Like the hardest part of being, well, I was going to say the hardest part of being a, like a server is just the fact that there's a certain percentage of society that gets off on being like a scumbag or something like that. But maybe the hardest part is actually like long hours and, you know, inconsistent wages in a volatile industry and being on your feet all day. But a bad part of it is definitely just completely preventable because some people need to learn manners for sure. These guys are good, man. They're not even like walking into the uh, the flippers accidentally, which is something I'm used to seeing on Fall Guys. Okay, you know, maybe not everybody's gotten the memo there. What do you mean some people? Well, 38 people have already qualified. Okay, I'm gonna do one more. <laughs> what the hell just, I thought we were doing okay. I honestly thought we were close to the front. 26% <laughs> of people bet on a, a win? I'm mad on your behalf. Even if you're not being a nuisance as a customer, you're still taking up someone's time. Yeah, but like, I mean, I know how this sounds. Maybe everyone... No, you know what? Honestly, I don't think everyone would describe themselves the same way. And Kate would vouch for it, I think. I'm like a, the easiest restaurant customer of all time. As I've said before, sometimes the restaurant just delivers me the wrong food. Maybe like once a year. And I actually just treat it as like a benevolent sign, like a divine audible from God above to try something new on the menu. Like, yeah, maybe I ordered like the Beyond Burger with sweet potato fries and all of a sudden like a margarita pizza comes out. Okay, well, I guess, you know, grazie. Doesn't bother me at all. I've never, except for one time at Bolt Castle, the Bolt Castle Canteen, um, I've never sent food back to the kitchen because it wasn't up to my standards. I've never been like, excuse me, waiter, this has like too much salt or anything like that. I mostly just like sit there and then like when the bill comes, I'm like, or when, when the food is done, I'm like, can we get the bill, please? I'm like a pretty, I'm a pretty good customer, honestly. I would like to think if there was like a draft for customers, the servers that I've, uh, you know, been served by in my life would probably take me in the first or the second round. That was not smart. I just fell down. I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with sending a meal back if, like, you know, it was... Even if it's just not cooked to your standards. But, like, certainly if it's, if it's cooked dangerously. Like, undercooked. Is this, is it possible to complete this, uh, this game? Are we embodying the tragedy of the commons right now? Oh my god, I only saw the, the platform that you can bounce on there. My points? What differentiates you from a first round pick instead of a fifth round pick well i feel like i mean a fifth round pick is like you don't even expect them to play a game in the nhl right i mean there's no way we're making it this is comical i mean i i'm i'm the kind of customer you want i don't i don't make any fuss we're gonna run one more i don't make any fuss i uh 
I don't make any substitutions to my orders. Kirill Kaprizov sends his regards. Yeah, I hope he sends his regards to Kevin Fiala, too, when he's forced to be traded this week due to salary cap concerns. After Kevin Fiala was the copium that Minnesota Wild fans were huffing after getting freaking destroyed by the Canucks in the bubble playoffs. We may have lost in, in five games to the Canucks, but at least we have Kir or, uh, at least we have Kevin Fiala. Ooh, he's so handsome. He's so handsome. He scores two goals every game. Ooh, uh, we have to trade him? Ah, shit. Must be fun not making the playoffs repeatedly. Honestly, it kind of is. Bubble playoffs when the Canucks made it, that was fun. In 2015, when the Canucks made the playoffs and, and lost to the Calgary Flames in six games, much like the Minnesota Wild lost to the, I don't even remember, St. Louis? <laughs> Another team that Vancouver beat in the bubble playoffs. Many people are saying this. Crushed, really. Seven of the easiest games of my life. It's honestly, yeah, the, the, not making the playoffs is kind of based. Making the playoffs and losing in the first round sucks ass. You spend like the whole season being like, I hope we make the playoffs. And then you make the playoffs. Um... And then you lose in five extra games, and you're like, why the hell was I so excited? Vancouver didn't beat Dallas in the playoffs? Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, that's so true. We didn't even play each other. Your memory of 2020 might be a little fuzzy. We lost to the uh, Vegas Golden Knights. There you go, you little squirt. The greatest trash talkers in the league. Stop wasting my time, your dog. This is not my quote, this is Jonathan Marchessault's quote. Stop wasting my time, your dog is as ugly as you are. Other Jonathan Marchessault classics. Go suck on your mummy's titty, stop wasting my time. Just some all time, ooh, classic trash talk. Liar will never win. Truth will always prevail. Hold on, hold on. What, what's the copy pasta? I gotta find it. Officially talk about me like that. We will meet in court. God bless with true. True will never die. Liars will kicked off. Airtime. I know I remember airtime. Oh man. Dude, how funny is Road Rage, by the way? I was thinking about that with um, the Road Rage video where the guy like gets out of his car and smacks the window and says, hey, get out. Hey, get out, get out, get out. Hey, get out. Like, dude. You're, you're mad about driving? Like, I don't get me wrong, I get, a, like, annoyed. But, like, it's driving. Like, that's how you get to, like, the mall. And you're gonna, like... You're willing to, like, give your life for that? It just, I mean, it seems a little backwards to me. It was not me. I'm telling you with all sincerity, you would never find me in a road rage video. Because I only give people the finger after they're, like, out of, like, road rage range. I don't like this one. Okay. I love it. What happens here? Are we okay? We're just standing still. That's fine. Honestly, I felt like that was pretty good. Yep. Bounce me. We're gonna lose, aren't we? I got no chance. Yep. Okay. <laughs> so only got 70% of the way. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go to the...